So, the place, the location in the heart of Poland, very close to Warsaw, Hotel Kuźnia Napoleonska, three star hotel, everything under one roof. So we will. <laughs> It's a small town, Teresin, uh, really, really close to Warsaw, and we will have accommodation directly in the, let's say, uh, the building or in, in the uh, whole area. Uh, there is uh, 300 places or 300 beds for polyglots. So, mm -hmm. yep. we will have really, really good lecture rooms with air conditioning. <laughs> with good sound, with projectors, etc. Mm -hmm. We will have really great buffet. The meals will be really worth it. So if you like Polish cuisine, or if, even if you don't know it, you will love it. <laughs> we will have chill out zone, the grill, area with for 200 people a beautiful park with no English zone or maybe no English park I don't know yet <laughs> and in the hotel in the conference hall nightlife uh, with a restaurant with a bar open 24 hours The other accommodations are also really nearby, so the, the, we, we already ordered or booked uh, several hotels, the, the closest host hotels uh, and accommodation uh, possibilities. Uh, most of them are walking distance from the, uh, uh, from the conference uh, place, one till six kilometers from the venue, and we will have enough place to put uh, all of you there, hopefully. And as you can see, or maybe not, uh, Terezin uh, in Warsaw is only 35, 45 minutes uh, by train from the airport, so it's 48 kilometers. The ticket is less than 5 euro. Today it was 3.20. Uh, and also from Warsaw Central Station, uh, there are direct trains. So it's actually almost the same or even closer as the shuttle bus from Vienna airport to Bratislava. So, <laughs> yes, if you, if you are curious about the Polish cuisine, we will have something for you. Będzie na pewno wódka, będzie żywiec, będzie kiełbasa, wegańska oczywiście też. Będą pierogi za piekanki. The dates of the polyglot gathering to 2020 is 26 till 30 of May in Teresin or Paprotnia in Poland. And some, some additional info, we plan, for example, one day trip to Warsaw before the gathering, like one day before the gathering, so 25th or, or 26th. So plan your stay longer before the gathering if you are curious about Poland and Warsaw. There is also a plan to, oh, to organize uh, some courses of the Polish, uh, Polish language in advance. Uh, yes, that will be needed at least two levels in Krakow and Warsaw. Uh, and our organization is also part of the uh, project uh, to create a multilingual website, polski.info, uh, which will be launched next year. So we hope it will be launched before the gathering, but I cannot promise it. And I can, sorry. Uh, yes, the last point, so the website and registration will be really prepared soon, so hopefully till the end of July. We will do our best, maybe it will be sooner, but uh, so we will let you know through website, uh, through the emails and, and through Facebook as well. 
uh, all you, the participants of this year's gathering, will uh, receive discount from our site as an early bird uh, um, registration, as a thank you from our site. And uh, the last, last information, if you are a Polish speaker or directly from Poland and would like to help us to organize hopefully once again the biggest polyglot event in the world, let us know, or today or after the gathering by email. Any help is welcome, so if you are able to pronounce the full name of that Grzegorz from the film, you are someone we are looking for. <laughs> so, see you next year during the Polyglot Gathering 2020 in Poland. Do zobaczenia w Polsce. Kochamy Was wszystkich.